According to Twitter, and there's been some tweets going up and reports coming through, that Michael K. Williams, who played Omar in The Wire, in The Wire, is dead. Um, the role he played in The Wire was very prominent, but a lot of people, of course, don't view him well, they might secretly admire him as a hero or anti-hero, but because of the the homosexual nature of his character, it's very hard to actually hold him up as an anti-hero, sort of Robin Hood, who used to scare the living shit out of all the drug dealers in that neighbourhood. But I'm saying that because, you know, it's so strange that I should get that news coming through that Michael K. Williams died today. Because as I, I, I can't even make this shit up. I was, watching the, I was watching little snippets from The Wire today. And the reason, for some reason, it came to my mind to watch Marlo killing prop Joe. Because I fucking hate Marlo Stanfield. I know a lot of black people look up to him thinking, yeah, he was a real G. And stuff. I fucking hated that motherfucker. I wish Slim Charles had killed him. I, I could not stand him. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was a snake of all snakes and they just needed to be fucking gut. You know what I mean? He was a psychopath and a sociopath. It is what it is. And those are the people who make the best gangsters anyway. It, it, I, I think I've always reckoned that it's quite easy to be a gangster. All you have to do is be willing to go much further than anybody else is willing to. It's, very, it's as simple as that, but the consequences, of course, is what keeps people in check. But if you're willing to go further than anybody else in terms of your brutality and aggression, then you are a G, you're a gangster. It is what it is. I don't think there's much more to it. And then you stay strong and you remain strong and, you know, you rule by fear. And that's it. So... That's more or less what I got from Marlon Star- Starfield. I didn't really think he was that smart. I thought he was just a person ruled by fear. And uh, fear and pressure. And, you know, he didn't have, for me, he didn't have the brains of uh, um, the character that Idris Elba played. Or, you know, it was just pure... But, he, you know, he was, you know, he could take care of himself in the street, as we saw with the last scene from The Wire, when some kid pulled a gun on him. But that's by the by. My thing is this. Omar, I was watching little snippets from The Wire, and I swear to God, man, I just came across... I watched uh, scenes with Prop Joe and Prop Joe. I wanted to, yeah, and I also wanted to see where Cheese got killed, the Method Man. Yeah, for retribution for kill, for getting Prop Joe killed. But, you know, other little clips are going to come along. And then, of course, there's Prop Joe when he makes a proposition to Omar to stick up a card game. And then that's when Omar robs him of his ring. And Omar shows no... F- I, I, I fucking love the way Omar held guns on him. Like, yo, you, you just remember that you, cause you, I can find your people here much easier than you can find me. So... Omar, in a way, was an anti-hero and a fearless anti-hero at that. But there were scenes where he would be surrounded by these light-skinned Puerto Ricans, obviously, with this, with this homosexuality they were in. And, you know, yeah, that just won't... <laughs> that part of it, you know. So, but anyway, then, of course, you remember him from um, Broadwalk Empire. You know, Broadwalk Empire, forgive me, not Broadwalk, Broadwalk Empire. And uh, what was his name? Chalky? Chalky White or something like that? His name was Chalky White. Good character, but a bit too fictional for me. You know what I'm saying? It was just a bit over the top. Chalky, the whole Broadwood Empire thing, it did take real-life characters, Charlie Lucky Luciano, for example, you know what I mean? And Dutch Schultz and all them. Um, and the guy who rigged the, uh, the uh, baseball World Series and stuff. The Jewish guy on top there. And the uh, rise of, you know, Bugsy, you know. Anyway, that being said, man, 
I'm not going to say rest in peace because, but, you know, it's just a shame. It's just a shame, really. I don't know. They say he found I don't know what killed him, but they say they found him dead. It's a, but it's just really spooky that I was watching him just a few hours ago. I could sort of say about, uh, well, yeah, I was watching him around 11 o'clock because I had something to do. I had to take my youngest to, uh, to for a checkup. You understand me? It was my turn, you know. And, you know, I had to take all the information. My wife had to give me all the information. I had to take care of it. You know, I never do I never do it, so she does it. But I did it to this time around, and I was proud of myself. But before I went, I I was watching clips. It's really weird. I was watching clips of Omar, Marlon Stanfield. Every time I see my finger, I wish I, I wish somebody had clipped this motherfucker. <laughs> he just went, in, went into an area, just turned it upside down for no reason whatsoever, you know? Getting people just kill people ruthlessly, fucking bastard. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. That's all I've got to say. Yeah, another thing. Yes, another thing. Another thing. Another thing. Suddenly, there's a. It's strange because, like, I don't know whether anybody remembers the impact that. What was his name again? Tyson Beckford had when he came out, when he was the sort of face of Ralph Lauren. Tyson Beffel was like a star in his own right. He was on the level of Naomi Campbell, you know what I'm saying, as a male model. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even know he was Jamaican or anything, but he was the face of Ralph Lauren. But he said that he took the job to be a model on the advice of Michael K. White which I found is a strange connection. And I saw that about about three weeks ago. And it, truth be told, truth be told, right, I didn't even know that Michael K. White, that Omar's name was Michael K. White. I had to go check who's Michael K. White. And then oh, it turned out to be Omar. And now he's dead. <laughs>